Well, thank you very much, Congressman Nadler, for your um, work in the House and your leadership there. I'm very pleased to be here to join my colleagues, Senator Casey, who has really been the leader in the last two Congresses on this legislation, and I've been pleased to join him with that, and pleased to be here with my colleague from New Hampshire, Senator Ayotte. Um, who, like me, understands what it's like to work and be pregnant. Um, and the fact is, a woman should never have to choose between her job and her pregnancy. And despite existing protections, as you've heard, pregnant workers in the United States still face discrimination and loss of employment. And being pregnant and losing your job means more than losing important family income. It can also mean losing health insurance at the worst possible time. And reentering the job market is especially tough for mothers and for pregnant women. And as more women work longer into their pregnancies, they should have confidence that their safety, that their health, that their financial security is not at risk. You know, back in the early 80s, I chaired a report for the women, the Commission on the Status of Women's um, efforts in New Hampshire. And that was on employment for women in the state. And one of the conclusions of that report was that women's jobs are family jobs. That whatever happens to a woman um, on the job, how much money she gets, if she's discriminated against when she's pregnant, that doesn't just impact her. That impacts her children, it impacts her husband, it impacts her family. And that's what this legislation is all about. It's making sure that we provide those protections for women and their families. And this bipartisan legislation will protect pregnant women from retaliation, from coercion, from intimidation, from threats, or from interference as they seek the accommodations that they deserve. So I'm excited that we now have bipartisan support for this legislation. I think it bodes well for new momentum to get this through the Senate. And again, I'm delighted to be able to work with my colleagues on this. Senator Ayotte. Thank you. Thanks, Jean. Um, I, I am uh, very honored to be here and to work on this important legislation uh, with my colleague, Senator Shaheen, and also uh, my colleague, Senator Casey. And I want to thank them for their leadership on this. And I know that Senator Heller couldn't be here today uh, because of a scheduling conflict, but I'm very glad to have him join us in this effort. And, uh, you know, I was appointed the first uh, woman to serve as Attorney General for New Hampshire. And uh, uh, my colleague, Senator Shaheen, has had even more first when it comes to being a woman leader in New Hampshire. Uh, but the experience that we do share is uh, when I first became appointed Attorney General, I was six months pregnant with our first child. And uh, so I, I saw in the workplace, it's so important now, uh, you know, so many women uh, they want to continue, obviously, having that opportunity to work uh, during their pregnancy. And this law that we've introduced is just really a common sense measure to update our laws uh, to reflect uh, what is happening in the workforce. And as Senator Shaheen said, no woman should have to choose uh, between uh, her pregnancy and making sure she's healthy during that pregnancy and continuing to work. And unfortunately, the Young decision uh, just did not clarify uh, what needs to be clarified. And so that's what our legislation will do today, is to ensure uh, that women in the workforce, that their employers make reasonable accommodations for them to continue working uh, during their pregnancies. And in fact, in New Hampshire, 70% uh, of women who gave birth in 2013 also worked uh, during their pregnancies. And it's so important to their families, it's important to their careers, and um, this is just a common sense measure. I look forward to working with Senator Shaheen, Senator Casey, Senator Heller to get this passed in the United States Senate, so thank you.